then there were not enough of us. The Skraelings came again and again. And finally we determined that we had gone too far to the west. It seems as if all I remember now is that last day, five minutes hence. The Nar was packed, it was late in the year, and the ice would soon close in the shallow bay. <laughs> and Snorri was walking then. Tarfin had carved him a tiny boat for his brave sailor lad. And we took him out to sail it down the tideway of the stream, and I sang to him as we had sung to his father on the day we left for Vinland. My young son I saw on the steering, Oh, sure, all the rudder is high. The fairest of sailors, my lad, is, and the best man to look at on land. But Snorri's boat sailed down the tideway and went round the bend and was lost, and came the cry, Gudrid, come! We will miss the tide! And I scooped him up, but he cried for his boat and kicked out. And in my belt, I had my spindle whirl, and the spindle broke and fell away and was lost. And still I hunted and searched in the grass. I could not bear to lose the one thing I had left behind. The linen from my wedding dress that I spun. For three graves, the shrouds. The vadmal for the sails themselves that had brought me to Vinland. The swaddlings. For this first child, the hope of the colony, it seemed as if there was one long thread that spun me back from Vinland to Greenland to Iceland and back to Norway. And here I had dropped it in the grass. Gunnar, come! We will miss the tide! And Snorri fought me as young children are wont to do and kicked at my belt and snapped the pin away, and it too was lost in the grass. And I ran. And now I stand on the deck of the Nar, snurry warm in my arms. And I look back at the turf roofed house. And I wonder, will anyone ever know that we were ever here?